Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on a Lenovo Ideal Pad 3. And let's take a look at what is inside the laptop. And I'll explain to you what are the things that you can upgrade. For example, your RAM, maybe your hard drive, um, maybe change out the battery or your CPU fan, things like that. Okay, so let me show you the model number. If you flip the back of the laptop, you can see that it says IdeoPad 3 15 ITL 05. And this is the back of the, the laptop. Let's go ahead and grab yourself a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using the electric screwdriver here. What I need to do is to remove all the screws and get and remove the back cover. So all the screws are the same size on the top first and the middle row. The very bottom here, the screws are slightly shorter. I just wanted to point it out to you. Now the next step I like to do is to pry open the back cover. I like to work on the side of the, uh, the plastic here. So the opening is a lot easier to get in. However, I'm not digging it very deep just enough for me to insert my prying tool and get myself a leverage to stick my plastic prying tool in it so i try not to use the metal prying tool that way i would make scratches on the on the laptop so it's good to use the plastic prying tool for this purpose once you have the back cover removed and here you go, you can see the entire laptop here. So let me walk you through what are the things that we are looking for. This is your CPU fan. This is your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Here is your RAM, the CMOS, the laptop battery. This is the um, tray for your additional hard drive like the regular 2.5 inch hard drive and the um, built-in not the built-in the uh, the c drive for your m.2 drive is in this one so this one they use the shorter version you can actually move the screw to the back and you can use the full version of the m.2 drive and this is the thermal pad the thermal pad is the one that brings the heat from the hard drive and disperse it onto the back cover screen. So let's put it on the side here. And this is the laptop RAM, the DDR4 RAM. So the first thing first I like to do is to disconnect the battery. The connector here, you can just slide it down. Very straightforward. Let me remove the screw first. There's this, this tiny little screw. We need to remove that as well. Now what you want to do is gently pull that cable and slide it down towards your body. All right. There's no secure clip or anything that holds onto the connector. All you need to do is to slide the connector down and there goes your battery. And if you feel like your battery is not holding the charge, or your battery is swollen or there's a lump on the battery uh, that way you can tell that the battery is going is going bad meaning that you need a battery replacement and if so where do you find a battery look for the model number here it says l 
16L2PB3. That is the model number for this battery. I'll try to link them in the description below where you can get them from Amazon or eBay for this battery replacement as well as other components here like the M.2 drive, the RAM, thermal pad, so on and so forth. All right. Now to upgrade the RAM, what you need to do is to push the two little side here, that little clipper that clips onto the RAM. Once you push it aside on board, the RAM will pop up at 45 degree angle and just slide it out. This is your DDR4 RAM and this run on a four gigabytes. You can upgrade this RAM to maybe eight or 16. Okay, so I believe this is probably four gigs plus four, you have eight gigs of RAM. So the four gigs of RAM is already built in here. And all you can do is to upgrade additional slot. I mean, this additional slot by eight or 16 gigs of RAM. All right, move on. This is the CMOS battery. The CMOS battery would hold, hold down to um, the time and date on your motherboard. So if you want to disconnect, simply slide the connector down. And that's how you disconnect the CMOS battery. All right, let's go ahead and remove the M.2 drive. This M.2 M drive is the one that stores all your information, like your pictures, music, everything is stored in this M.2 drive. The capacity of this is 256 gigabyte. So if you feel like this is not enough room for your data, what you can do is you can upgrade the M.2 drive to a larger M.2 drive, okay? So this is the full size M.2 drive, which is the same slot to slide it in. However, you see that bracket, you have to move that screw or this bracket here to the back of it. If you buy the shorter version, you stay with this screw, okay? If you buy the full version, you need to move the screw to the back and there you have it, the full version of the M.2 drive. What I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. You can find them on Amazon as well. Okay, now here I'd like to show it to you is the M.2 USB adapter. What it does is it reads the data off of your hard drive. So if you're buying the new full size um, M.2 drive and you want to retrieve the information you can slide it in here right put a screw here to hold it down or put a tape here to hold it down and insert into any of the usb computer here and that's how you recover your information if you're interested with the uh, usb adapter check it out in the description below again i got this from amazon All right, let's move on to the next step is the Wi-Fi adapter. The gray cable goes on the top. The black one is at the bottom. Let's go ahead and disconnect that and remove the Wi-Fi wi adapter. Now what I'm gonna do next is to disconnect the CPU fan. The connector here, you can just simply slide to your left. That's how you can disconnect them. Okay, and let's go ahead and remove the screw. All right, the CPU fan replacement part, you may be able to find them by looking at the model here. I believe the model is maybe this one here, SF10 something, or rather look for DC2800DP3P0. I'm not 100% sure where to find the CPU fan, but uh, let me do some more research on it i'll probably update myself on the description below uh, check the description because the video right now i'm just recording and i can't really see where to find a replacement for the fan 
All right, here comes your heat sink, which is the CPU is underneath that heat sink. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the motherboard. So the first thing you need to do is to disconnect that cable by opening up, flip that clipper, slide the cable to your left, flip the clipper up, slide the cable down, flip the cable up, slide the keyboard cable down. So this is your keyboard and this is the touchpad. And this is your LCD. So the the sense for your webcam microphone is connected to the top here and LCD flip the cable up and slide the cable away. This is what we call the clipper, right? It clips onto it. And let's go ahead and remove the motherboard. So one screw. So there's one tiny screw right here, which is for the uh, manufacturer warranty void screw. So once you break that seal, then the warranty goes away. All right, I just wanted to tell you that there's one hidden screw right there. And if you flip it around and you can take a look here, this is the model number for your motherboard, HS45A or HS55A. All right, this was built in year 2020, November 02. Okay, so this is the entire motherboard replacement. If you're interested, you can change out the motherboard or maybe look for the product number right here. And that is also for the motherboard uh, serial number or the replacement parts. Now let's talk about the keyboard. If you're interested to change out the keyboard, um, if you spill some liquid on it, the answer is you cannot change the keyboard. So in other words, the entire keyboard right here, let me remove these two screws. Okay, so the keyboard is all built in all together with the palm rest. So the touchpad, the palm rest, this is what we call the palm rest, meaning the entire keyboard plus the key itself is all built in in one piece all together. So you can see that this, this, these are the punch down plastic by manufacturer. You can remove it or replace the keyboard. Even if it's one key that is broken, you would have to replace the entire keyboard with the touchpad and the palm rest. Unfortunately, that's how they make it. So, so be it. This is how it's going to be. And this is the entire screen. You can replace the entire screen by so, uh, or you can just pop open the bezel for the screen replacement. In this video, we are not going to talk about screen replacement. We are just going to do the teardown and I'll show you what are the things that you can upgrade. Again, the RAM can be upgraded for sure. And then the M.2 drive, you can upgrade to a larger one or maybe the CPU fan that is broken, you can change it out. Or maybe the battery that is not holding the charge. Those are the things that you can change in this laptop here. I hope the video is helpful. If you find the video is helpful to you, please go ahead and smash the like button. I would really appreciate you for liking the video and comment below if you have any question regarding about the repair uh, or if you get stuck or anything, comment below. I will answer those questions. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye now.